So this is a time accelerated build of the Marvel Avengers Arc R gaming chair. This is the Iron Man version of the gaming chair. It's the official uh, Marvel branded gaming chair. And it took me approximately 45 to 50 minutes to put together. I did like that they give you a glove that makes it easy to hold things. It has grips on it. Things like that. Of course, my dogs gave me um, some fun the entire time bugging me while I was putting the chair together. The chair feels good. The leg pullout feels good. The leg rest. The pillows are nice. Overall, I had some complications assembling the chair, particularly when it came to putting in the armrests together. Putting the armrests on was a little bit more difficult to do just as a single person. It would have been easier if I would have had a pedestal to rest the base on. So I struggled a little bit with that. But obviously putting the chair together, you slide in the wheels first. That's the easy part. Pop the in the gas lift cylinder. Then, of course, you take out all the screws and the rest of the packs. And then you start with the seat bottom and then work your way from there on. So now we put on the armrests into the seat base. This part wasn't terribly hard. It was more attaching the back to the seat base. That was the hardest part. You just got to line them up. The one thing I noticed about the instructions is there's two different thread lengths. And the instructions make it seem like all the screws are only one length. Yet there is two different types of lengths. They don't specify which length to use for which section. So I kind of just had to wing it, kind of guess which length to use at which section. That was the defect in the instructions, but it was very easy to get around. And I'm not sure it would have mattered that one of the screws was a quarter of an inch shorter than the others. Threads. I also had to figure out which way the armrests go because they tilt left and right. So you have to make sure that they are on the right way so they're tilting the right direction. You don't actually have them backwards and facing the wrong direction. Next, of course, we put on the chair lever and where it goes into the gas piston cylinder. And then we tighten everything. I always keep everything loose and I tighten it after. Make sure I have everything seated right in case anything has to slide. All right. So now we go to the part where I needed to put the back on. And this is the part I struggled with the most. Lining up this metal brace, which is extendable, and attaching it. The drilled holes through the material don't perfectly line up. And it was actually very difficult for me to get the screws to grip and line up. They have to go at a certain angle. So I found this the part that I struggled with the most. It was easier to do the other side, but the first side is the one that I struggled with the most. The second side was much easier to do overall. After tightening the chair up, seating it on the cylinder was no big deal at all. My chair got a little dirty, so I went to dust it off later. And then basically, I was just testing it, making sure it sat right, testing out the armrests. Then I continued to the rest of it, which is where you put the covers, the cosmetic covers, over the side brackets. So you can see me putting those on here, finishing those up. So after getting those to line up, I did the same thing to the ones on the other side. Again, a little bit tricky to get them lined up, the little plastic. It only lines up a certain way, and sometimes it's hard to get the screw to grip and see inside there, but it wasn't too hard overall. So the chair pre feels pretty solid. Definitely does not feel like a flimsy chair. Here I am extending it out, seeing how the seat back is. 
feels sturdy on the back. Extending it, laying back on it a little bit. You can see the armrests go up and down, they tilt. Now the leg rest you pull out is manual to pull it out and push it out and you just spin the cushion around. So I'm gonna go ahead and tilt it back and see how far back it leans without falling over. I was a little worried that in tilting it back, I would fall backwards. So I didn't get fully extend it because I was worried that the center of gravity would pull me over. But uh, it seems like it goes back pretty far. I'm sure my kid who's lighter than I am wouldn't have an issue with it. And of course the rotation of the chair is good. Everything seems pretty neat and tight. I didn't really have any issue at all. And it can rock back and forth just fine. It just felt pretty solid. Overall, I was I was pretty impressed at the uh, the price and quality. And of course, my son really loves Iron Man. And so he really wanted this Iron Man chair.